From the News Channel 5 Network, here are today's headlines. I'm Carrie Sharp. Today is the last day for Metro Schools Director Dr. Sean Joseph. He was hired in July of 2016 as the city's first black director of schools. Within months, he faced questions from News Channel 5 Investigates over the qualifications of some of his hires, using district staff for his own gain, mishandling of sexual harassment claims, and no-bid contracts. Dr. Adrian Battle will serve as the interim director. The latest now in the race to elect Nashville's new mayor. Incumbent David Briley leads in fundraising with nearly $190,000 just in the first quarter. Conservative former professor Carol Swain has the support of Music City's Honky Tonks with nearly $120,000 in fundraising. State Rep John Ray Clemens reported more than $40,000 in donations. A Tennessee family could finally have closure after decades of uncertainty. Genetic technology similar to 23andMe has identified two women connected to a cold case in Texas. Jane Doe's body was found in the 80s, but police just discovered who she is. They have not publicly released her name, just that she has ties to Tennessee. She is one of four women found dead in a field in the Houston area. Another honor for Waffle House shooting hero James Shaw Jr. The U.S. Justice Department gave him the Special Courage Award during the National Crime Victim Service Awards ceremony in Washington. In a release, Attorney General William Barr said, we can all be inspired by his selflessness. Shaw stopped the gunman from shooting, which caused him to leave the restaurant. Four people did die in the attack. Let's get a check of the weekend forecast now with meteorologist Bree Smith. Unfortunately, we're looking at an unsettled setup. Strong storm systems swinging out of the south will bring us multiple waves of showers and storms this weekend. The first one arrives around daybreak Saturday morning. So while most of your Friday night is dry, you will wake up to temperatures in the 50s and showers and storms working back in from the south. We'll get a lull in the action Saturday afternoon. That'll get us into the 70s. Should be a dry start to game two Saturday night. But it's overnight Saturday into Sunday that we have another wave, a stronger wave of storms that will come through. Timing on this is 5 a.m. to noon on Sunday, and it is strong enough that we have a Storm 5 alert in effect for Sunday with damaging straight line wind, the primary threat, although hail and some isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out.